So today I'm gonna to show you very quickly how to import external data to Excel for Mac. So it's a little different than Windows and it's just a couple extra steps. So let's get right into it. Pretty much what you need is, you know, Microsoft Excel and then Microsoft Word. Um, and then a website where you wanna get your data. So let's get right into it. Here is the website that I wanna import some data from. It's just Wikipedia. It's got the URL up here. That's the only thing you need. And here is the tables I want to grab. So here I, I'm looking for the R1 tables. So this is the R1 table. And then there's also some other tables in here too. There's the R2 table and then there's a third table at the end, but we just want R1. So we're gonna have to uh, delete some data because um, it's gonna import all of this. No problem, that'll be easy. So first thing I'm gonna do is highlight and copy the URL. And then I'm going to open up a Word doc, new blank document. I'm pasting the URL and I'm just hitting return and getting a couple spaces in there just to light up the URL. And I'm gonna save this doc. We'll call this, uh, we'll call this one the R1 table. And I have a data folder that I like to stash all my data. So, you know, find a place where you like to keep this stuff and where you're gonna be able to source it if you're just looking through your um, computer. And finally, file format, I'm gonna change that to plain text. Perfect, save. Mac OS is fine, Mac OS default. And then hit, okay. All right, so now that we've got our documents saved, let's go into our finder. Here's my data folder, and here's the R1 table. So we're gonna wanna go in here. As you can see, the kind of document it is is a plain text. So we're gonna wanna go in here and get info. And what we're gonna do is change, change this TXT to IQY. And that pretty much makes it a query, which is exactly what we want for importing it into Excel. So use IQY. And now it's changed what kind of document it is. So now that we see that, we're good to go. You can go ahead and cancel that out. And now we're in our actual worksheet. So I've created a new sheet here, doctoral universities, and this is right where I'm gonna to wanna to import it. So go to data on your toolbar. You have to do it from the toolbar. External data, run web query. And then what I'm gonna do is navigate through this menu. And what I'm gonna do is just go straight to my data folder. So I've gone to my data folder and I've seen the R1 table here and I'm gonna hit get data. Yes, in the existing sheet starting from the top. So now it's gonna source that data and boom. There we go, we've got our R1 table here. And like I said, there's a couple extra tables. So let's scroll through here. So here's the next table. So I see there's a break. It doesn't have the title, but I know this is R2 because if I look at the, the uh, website, I can see that there's different tables. So there's that second R2 table and there's that final table. So what I'm gonna need to do to clean this up, just quite simply highlight all the extra data delete. And then I know there's some merged columns in there or some merged uh, rows in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. Now we got a clear doc and we've got our table. And then you can manipulate it however you'd like. Hope that's helpful and helped me out. So 